been a very long time. Very long time since I've seen this. So I brought this shirt with me. Got it out today. It was um, so much smaller than I remembered. <laughs> I was in third grade when I when my mom made it for me and she made one just like it for my sister and um, I loved it it was so cute it's got this red stripe on the handle and, um, I would wear it to school and we would walk to school we had just moved and so we were new to the school and we were walking alone my sister and I and my mom made us these purses to bring along anything that we felt might make us more comfortable. And um, we would eat apples for breakfast along the way. And um, they, my parents gave us these little utility knives that we could cut the pieces of apple off with. And we would keep those in our purses. Um, I think maybe they were afraid for our safety walking to school. Um, and I was so happy to go to school and wear this because it was brand new and it was beautiful. And um, somebody asked me about it. Somebody, some boys in the grade, in the grade above me. I think they just said something like, "Hey, nice purse," and I said. Thanks, my mommy made it. And, um, they mocked me. I was surprised. I was like, why are they laughing at me because of that? But, um, but I still loved it. And, um, but I still remember that. I was so surprised. Because um, I was so happy. She would make us all kinds of things that was the year of the cabbage patch all the girls had the cabbage patch dolls and some of the boys and so she made us our own dolls because of course we couldn't afford the cabbage patch dolls I'm not gonna but say she did a really good job sent to me because that feels really silly but I still have her too I think they were the best homemade dolls. This was like a step they looked so much like Cabbage Patch Kids. Of becoming and the so musician, it was like this and that, that made me really realize because um, how of these ridiculous and inspiring songs on CDs that I actually have no device to play on anymore. I really just have uh, memories of these songs. Driving way too fast on back roads outside of Portland as a 16-year-old who hated being home. This music was a landscape for me to be myself in and to try other voices to sing at the top of my lungs with all the windows down and cry when I had a shitty day and exchange letters with my brother about how important these songs were or what I thought of them um, as he began to help me curate my critical voice in musical listening. His writing has always been really hard to read. Um, 
He included some of his own compositions that he was working on. He was living in Boston at the time. And shortly after I received this, I guess, I then went to Boston to visit him. And it was my first time on the East Coast, and it was summer, so it was just miserably sweaty and disgusting on the tea. Just like crammed in to the subway. I had an old 35 millimeter, and I was taking all these photos. And my now sister in law was crammed in the bottom of the step on the subway because there was a baseball game. And it was just packed of people going to the park. And once we got past that, we got out and we went to their apartment. And I went to my first liquor store that summer as a 15 year old. And I tried calamari for the first time, which I remember squeaking under my teeth. And I had a glass of wine with dinner and that felt so it's funny I think about this box forbidden which um, it's the box that came in you've had this probably since the 1950s and I think about this box and I think about all the boxes we had in the house I think about the those wooden those wooden salt cod boxes they smelled like salt cod but we kept things in them you had a you had one on your desk with a, one of those old watches that conductors used. And you had this box, which always had this wonderful smell to it. It's been taped and retaped. Johannes Adler, Magna Musik. Das ist nicht Spielzeug, das ist Werkzeug. You loved telling us that when we were kids. Because this is serious music. Serious music gets played on serious instruments, right? It's not like the uh, stuff that I play with the big red clown shoes on it. Hmm. But you gave us this, you gave us the music. We just took it into different places. <sighs> Talisman, urn of ashes. Big dare. And it still sits on the shelf just like it did for 50 years. You'd pull it out in very, very manic moments. All that telemon. It gave you freedom, and I always thought it, thought it just seemed really confining. That's why they call it chamber music. Huh. Just noticed on the box that you had written tenor recorder, just in case you forgot. Because later on you did forget a lot of things. You forgot names and places and time, but you knew language and you still knew music. Speaking Russian and German and forgetting to speak English. Hmm. I think Leo's got the trombone and the family violin. That family violin is a real, real crazy mystery. Never quite understood that. It's like we might have been Hungarian. Hmm. Went for a walk. A440. I also had like a little. Pear wood. I can't think of many things that are made out of pear wood. It's like a, a wooden dog that had wheels. And then it had like little. Baroque um, music and bonsai. You did you know, bonsai. like these little metal connectors that, that went so from funny. the front wheels to the. Twisting. Uh, to the ears. So as you pulled it, 
as I pulled it like such a behind me when we were on our walk, the ears would go up and down. They'd kind of flop up and down like, <laughs> like that. And um, so that was something I remember. And I think we actually have a picture of it, which is probably why the only reason that I remember it. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I think 